Sierra Canyon in Chatsworth, California has quickly become a national powerhouse in high school hoops. High profile players seek out the program. Rebound, Shy Odom. Here's Amari Bailey. Bronny throws it down! And with the addition of LeBron James' son, Bronny, and Dwayne Wade's son, Zaire, the Trailblazers' popularity has reached new heights. The man who helped deliver those unprecedented back-to-back -back state titles the last two seasons, head coach Andre Chevalier. It's quickly become a national powerhouse in, in basketball and in other sports, but how did it happen so fast for Sierra Canyon? Uh, I think Sierra Canyon is the perfect balance of academics, athletic, and the arts. Uh, and it gives the kids a place to come where they can express themselves, um, but also grow in all three areas. Uh, and so I think that's the reason why they want to come here, uh, because we give them the freedom to express, to be themselves, uh, and to grow into great student athletes. Well, one of your state championship teams, you had Kenyon Martin's son, Scotty Pippen's son, you had Cassius Stanley, who's now a Duke. And we know Marvin Bagley's played here in the past. Some people are saying this year's team could be the best Sierra Canyon team that's ever been. What do you say to that? Well, talent-wise and depth, I think we're probably you know up there with the other teams. Uh, I'm still waiting to see if the competitive nature uh, and the fight uh, is the same with this group as it was with the other groups. Um, last year's group was they were greatly competitive, uh, and you know they always fought no matter what the situation was. And I think if this team can get to that place uh, and they can you know buy into the system. Uh, and you know they enjoy each other as people. Uh, I think the sky's the limit. So you win the second straight state's championship last year, but right before that game took place, your daughter on the women's team here won a state championship as well. What did that mean for you? And how hard was that to, to move on from that and have to an hour later take the court with your team? Yeah, it was. It's still emotional. <laughs> just, uh, mm, just thinking about it. Uh, the, the opportunity to, be, to play on the same court uh, with your daughter, to watch her play a game and then, you know, come behind her, uh, you know, and we both win it, uh, was, it was crazy emotional. The rebound, this time to Amari Bailey. Alley-oop and a throwdown for Zaire Wade, Dwayne Wade. This year's team is so high profile, the program staged a Midnight Madness event, a media day, scheduled a preseason trip to China, and will play 15 times on national television. It's a schedule that has them competing in eight different states outside of California, including a trip to Ohio, where LeBron's son will get a chance to play his father's alma mater on a date that LeBron just happens to have off. How active have the parents been, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade? Are they, do they get really involved and, and want to talk with you a lot about the team? Uh, they're super active in supporting their kids, uh, but no, they haven't, you know, um, been to practices very much or if at all. Uh, and you know, they 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 continue to be parents and love their kids and support their kids, um, you know, in a wonderful way and, and from a great place. So, no pressure from them at this point. Have you talked to this year's group? Does it come up about a three-peat? Every year that we start the season, we start the season with the idea of winning a championship. So definitely. Uh, the idea of three-peat um, has come up, um, you know, for us as a group, um, for us as a team, um, from the media, you know, so it's something that we talk about and uh, I'm sure it's something that they feel pressure to do. 